Welcome back, guys, to Super Auto Pets on a Friday with me, Massive Dynamic. We're in the weekly as we do every single day, getting our 10 trophies. And today we're going for another different build, something that I've seen a lot in um, in my games, uh, a, a build that has beaten me several times. And I specifically started out this run looking for this build. So I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Uh, but you'll see as we get there. Hopefully it all works out. Now, um, we start out with, in the usual way, with a couple of ants. And I think with two or three ants, I don't think you can really lose in the first couple of rounds. So I always grab the ant. Um, and fish is a great one too because of the health boost that you get when you level it. So I'm always looking for ants and fish. And seahorse... Although it has pretty decent stats, Seahorse is my least favorite of the good statted uh, tier 1 pets. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. I do like the lemur a lot this week. The garlic has given me a lot of wins, I think. And uh, it's nice to get that early garlic. And the stats aren't too bad either. Uh, a couple times I've gone to level 2 uh, lemur. And I think I even got... Did I get to level 3? I might have gotten to level 3 once this week also. Um, don't remember with 100% certainty on that, but, uh, so we're looking for specific pets here, but they don't show up until tier five. No, no, I'm sorry. We're going for tier six, we're going for tier six pets in this run, actually. So we'll take, we're always going to take the stork, especially if there's two of them in the shop. Uh, I, the level two stork is very powerful. And the level 3 stork is one of my favorites. It pretty well, I think, everybody's favorite. Or one of everybody's favorites. Um, it's just a, a good pet. Um, but the garlic here is good. And is it enough? It should be. It is. Yep. So the garlic helped us out there. We were able to get to our, our third win. Still on 5 hearts. So that's really good. And here's our fish level up to get some health. And it hit good. It hit the ant and the stork, which was great. And I just really like a whale shark too, guys. So I take the whale shark just because it's it's easy to scale. As long as there's some kind of perk in the shop, you can scale it every turn. It is three three gold per um, level up, but or not level up, but scaling event. But it is a two two buff with each perk. So it kind of helps with the. You know, if you get a bad shop, then just throw a couple of perks on your whale shark. Uh, but a food or a uh, rabbit makes leveling the whale shark way better because now you get it becomes a two three buff every time you feed it. Um, and that, even though that was temporary stats, it will should get us the win. I don't think that uh, eight thirteen stats are going to lose in this early, although. Yeah, the hawk in the front row was a good play there because it gave him a lot of power and we ended up with a draw. Uh, but that was better than it could have been. We could have easily lost that one against that hawk. Um, but uh, we, so we perk up the whale shark, check the sh shop, and there's the cow. So here's a chance to use that waffle. Uh, well, I mean, this isn't a chance, but we will be looking for waffles in the shop now. Which may be distracting from my quest for perks. That's why I froze the meaty bone here. Um, because uh, I want to make sure that I have a, a perk available for the whale shark. And even at even if I miss out on a waffle, that's okay. And let's see, the, uh, the waffle on the cow gives uh, two... 1-1 one, one buff, so it's it's basically the same as the whale shark feeding um, a perk. So we need we really need to level that cow up to level two so that we get a better buff. Uh, although with the rabbit we do get an extra extra couple of health uh, because you get one extra heart for each um, each time you feed. So that does work out to be a good um, benefit. So we go ahead and take the um, whale shark there and give it a perk. Now we're up to 
Why did that go 2-2? Two, two? Oh, yeah. Th yeah, it goes 2-2 two, two every time. What am I thinking? Um. Oh, I was talking about the milk. Oh, well, one, one from the milk. Yeah, so I distracted myself from what I was talking about. But uh, so here we... Wait a minute. That that uh, worked out just fine. Uh, there's the waffle. Now here's the milk, and we go ahead and put it onto the whale shark. Oh, it's a one-two on each milk. Okay, I got to pay attention to these things, guys. I really have to listen to what's going on. So yeah, that worked out. The stew ended up being a four-four bonus on three pets, which was really nice for health and now our whale shark is nearly finished so we're looking to pivot uh to something else because we're going to need to back it up with something we have it up to 46 health now so here comes here comes our big pivot opportunity the fly is part of it maybe you can guess what the next part of the pivot is going to be and um yeah, so we're switching up the um, the buffs now because the whale shark is almost finished. There's the German Shepherd. That's what we're looking for. And the, um, the fire ant may become part of the team. Let's see how that works out. Uh, so we've got big stats here. So we're able to... Man, no. Nope, we can't, we can't get through that. We, we couldn't get through that peacock there. Just had too much health. And so, Nick's the fire ant idea. We're going German Shepherd right now. And we're just looking for... Another German Shepherd is great. Chocolate's good. Another German Shepherd. That's fantastic. That's what we were looking for. We'll freeze a tomato just because... Why not get that extra snipe out there? All right, so here we are on three hearts, and we're a win would be great, mm, but we'll take a draw there. All right, we have seven wins, and we're getting ready to make our big pivot here. So we take the German Shepherd and give it a tomato, and we get rid of the rabbit to grab the fly. And the German Shepherd is going to provide... That's to each fly that spawns. So uh, they've got a bigger whale shark, but we able to draw there. And then here comes the fly. So each fly gets um, ends up with ten attack. So that's the fly is going to supply thirty extra attack. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Now this combo has beaten me on several occasions. Now given more attack to the to the German Shepherd is good because the more attack it has, the more it can pass on. And let's see, the fly is always going to summon a, an 8 8 fly at level 2. So let's see how that all works out here this time. Here's the fly ends up with 15 attack now. So as you can see, the fly will kill anything on this squad that it encounters. And yeah, that worked out just perfectly. And having the uh, stork at level two is also good because it's going to produce a 614. No, not 614, a 64 pet. And the German Shepherd is going to give 50%, which is now seven. So that should be a 13 attack, which is almost enough. 15 there, and yeah, 13. Happens too fast. Can't watch it all. But there. Well, that was the final battle. Yeah, so the German Shepherd finished it off. So the German Shepherd fly, big combination this weekly. If you've played it all this week, you've probably seen it. And uh, yeah, I just decided to take a shot at it. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll try something different. See if we can find another synergy that we like. And uh, we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.